Hello, my friend. Welcome to Tube Your Channel. I'm Henry. I have made a multi thread screw that is very satisfying. It can even dance with the musical rhythm. How can we use this for daily life? Today, I will tell you how to make a manual hand drill. No matter you push or pull, it rotates in the one direction continuously. It is very smooth, efficient, and powerful. It is the first 3D printed stride one-way manual hand drill in the world. I will tell you the design idea and concept, and the trick how to make it. Stick around. Let's start. On Thingiverse, we can download a very cute hand-powered drill. It works fine. Let's take a look. When push, it will rotate one cycle. When pulling back, it will rotate in the different direction. This is the normal way which normal bolt and nut works. Even this magic bolt and nut work the same way. Fortunately, this magic bolt can rotate in the same direction if we use another nut. We call them nut air, nut R respectively. Air meaning rotate left hand or counterclockwise, R meaning rotate right hand clockwise. We will use these two nuts at the same time. Now the problem becomes how to make these two nuts rotate independently and keep the right direction. I add a surprise cage to make it happen. When we push the cage, the knobs on the bottom of the nut here keep the upper nut fixed. The board will rotate a clockwise direction. If the board is fixed, the nut will rotate counterclockwise. The nut R will rotate in a clockwise direction. When we pull the cage, the nut R will be fixed, and the board will keep the same direction, clockwise direction. The nut air will rotate clockwise direction. Back and forth, the board will keep the same rotated direction. If we reverse the direction of the cage, the rotated direction will change. It will keep rotation counterclockwise direction. The idea and the concept are explained clearly. Now we start to design the motor. First, I want to get an optimized parameter that the board and the nuts can move smooth and efficient. Of course, it should be good looking since it is the first impression. I will use parametric motoring to complete the quest. This time, I will use more parameters to define the board. Here is the table of the parameters list. This part is the core parameters. These are the parameters I will use to modify the board. The number represents the thread rotation cycles. The initial values are listed as well. Now we add these parameters on Fusion 360. Select and Modify, Change Parameters. Then click plus to add the parameters according to the above table. Name is the parameter name. The unit you will select the correct one or no units. The expression is the initial value. You can leave the command blank or add your notification. Click OK to finish the operation. First, create a simple sketch. Select one plane to start motoring. I select top as starting plane. Create a circle, type D, and select the diameter. Click Enter to finish the circle. Make another circle. Select D plus 10 as the diameter. Click OK to finish the operation. Extrude the center circle to make a cylinder. Type H and select Height. Click OK to finish the operation. Select Create coil to make a thread on the cylinder. Select the top of the cylinder as the start plane. Select the center of the cylinder as the center. Type D and select the diameter as the diameter. Type R and select the revolution as revolutions. Type H and select height. If the coil goes to the different direction, then add minus ahead of the height. Make sure the coil is around the cylinder. Type S and select size as section size. Then operation new body. Click OK to finish the operation. Select the create pattern circular pattern. Select type as bodies. Select the coil as objects. Select the top surface circle as the axis. Type N and select the number as rotation cycles. Click OK to finish the operation. Combine them all together as one direction board. Make a copy using the mirror tool. 
move the copy to the original place. Here, you type minus H in the Z distance. Click OK to finish the operation. Now, at the same place, we have two boards that have different rotated direction. Combine them use intersect operation. Click OK to finish the operation. You can see my computer take a while to finish the operation. Now, the board is finished. The normal way is to make a nut using these parameters. Then find the optimized parameters, but my computer cannot work smoothly that way. I start the first selection to get a good looking board. Decrease the rotation cycles to 12. Decrease the diameter to 10. It looks quite good. We try this first. We start to make one nut. Hide the board. Show the sketch. Extrude the outer ring to 10 mm. Use press pull tool to add minus 0.5 mm space as clearance. Use the similar parameter to make coil. Only change the diameter to diameter plus 0.5 mm. Section size to size plus 0.5 mm. Click OK to finish the operation. Multiply the coils using create pattern, circular pattern. Make a section analysis of the nut. Select XZ plane. And move the outer cylinder to a good position. Combine the cylinder with the coils using the cut operation. Now we have finished the board and the nut design. We can start finding the optimized parameter. Modify the parameters and find the good one. Print them and try if they are good. Finally, I use these parameters. The nuts move very smooth. One push, the board will rotate three times. It is powerful and efficient and smooth. Now we go to the next step. Thinks my computer is slow. I copy the final board and the nut to direct motoring. Open a new project and select direct motoring. Copy the board and the nut from parametric motoring. Paste them to the new project. Save the old project and close it. Add short cylinders at the top or surface of the nut. Make a copy of the nut using the mirror tool. Make a cage to suppress the nuts. Add short cylinders at the cage also. Modify the board to be a drill tool. It can be used for diameter 2.0 to 2.3 mm drill. Add a handle to the bottom of the board. Now everything is finished. Let's check how it works. All motors print without a support layer. If you find the long board is difficult to stick to the bed, please use another STL file which I add a manual support layer. Now simply construct them together. We can find it works very well. All parts work just as we expected. When you rotate the cage very fast, the inside nuts are fixed, in fact. So, all the mystery can be explained. One cycle push and pull, it will rotate about 6 cycles. It is very efficient. Let's fix the drill and try to make a hole on the wood wall. It is very easy and very fast. This manual hand drill works like an intelligent tool. Beautiful, efficient, powerful, and handy. It is the first 3D printed stride one-way manual hand drill in the world. If you have seen the video here, please do me a favor. Subscribe to my channel and click the small bell. So you will not miss an update. Tell me your channel is waiting for you.